Now y'all yeah, doing Armor Gazi here again, guys. Today, down here in the knife dungeon, and uh, working on a couple blades. You might have seen this one before. Uh, start profiling this one. As you can see. Pretty decent, I think. Nice handle on it. Plenty of room to grab a hold of it. Not bad. I just cut this one out. Grounded. Ooh, sorry about that. Just cut this one out, ground it into shape. Similar, but different. Now, this one, I'm not sure. I might keep it how it is, actually. You only really get a three finger grip on it. I wish I wouldn't have taken all that out, honestly. Could have kept it a little flatter through there. Uh, Unless you got real small hands, you're not getting your pinky on there. But you got a little longer cutting blade than you do on this one. Put them up here side by side. They're about the same size. But as you can see, one's got a significantly longer cutting blade on it. One's got a longer handle. This one's got a bit more belly to it. I mean, it's pretty much all belly. It just curves all the way around. This one's got a nice belly, and then we got ourselves a nice straight cutting surface there. That's what we got so far. That's what I've been working on today. So we're going to see what I'm going to do with this one. I ground off more here than what I wanted to, but eh, I don't know. We'll deal with it. We'll figure something out. I'm not done shaping the handle at all. I think I've got the blade where I want it. Uh, able to flatten out the grain. I don't buy that. Uh, I mean, I buy 1095, and 1095 is pretty much never ground precision ground. So I got one of these. The newest tool. I got this, and that way I can, you know, before I start beveling them putting edges on them. I can grind them nice and flat, make sure, you know, nice and even and all that good stuff. So that's good. It's also got a, uh, a round wheel I can put on the side, which is over here. I haven't put that on. I don't know how much I'll use it. So I haven't put it on yet. But it's coming along. You know, didn't take me too long to cut this one out. Got a couple more things here, thinking about, you know, plenty more metal to work with. These are 5 16 thick. Tell you what, they're a lot faster to freaking put an edge on than uh, that quarter inch stuff. I'll be working for this with these things forever. That thick steel. There's a difference in thickness for you. These are a beast to work with. But uh, that's what I did. Uh, oh, what else? I was screwing around, had a scrap piece of metal. Made made this. That's kind of dumb. I know, whatever. It's a nice little dart. thing is freaking sharp. I don't know if I will heat treat it, if it would stay that sharp. But it's nice for uh, picking out splinters. It's got a needle point on it. You can see. Let I me mean, make a nice little self defense tool. Hold it in your hand. I don't know what it's good for. I just screwing around. Hmm. I'm sure I can think of something for it. Got another scrap piece here. That's almost a Kiridashi. Shape-wise, I don't know if I can make a Kiridashi, never made one. 
Yeah. I don't know. Metal's a little bit burnt from the grinder. But uh, I might make something out of this too. Who knows? Probably make a kiradashi out of that. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, turn around. Picked up a new toy. I'll show that to you. Not really a toy, a tool. There, I got myself a Leatherman. This is the Leatherman Wingman. Boom. I got this for Father's Day, basically. I bought it myself, but yeah, it's a Father's Day's gift to myself. Not a bad little Molly tool. Um, you definitely get what you pay for on this one. Uh, as you can see, it's got... It's not as tightly made as some of the other Leathermans out there. But uh, hell, it's a $30 Leatherman. It's got a couple issues. Here's our, uh, our scissors. The spring of the scissors doesn't engage unless you engage it and it also doesn't lock into place there you go unless you fiddle with it now it works it's nice because it's locking but uh, it just doesn't work that well for some reason it doesn't just lock in that spring doesn't have enough tension to go down I gotta push it then it'll lock and I can use it I don't know if that's a defect or if that's just you know a problem with all of them Not sure. Here's the main knife blade. Not, not a bad shape of the blade. I don't really like the serrations that much, but I'm sure it'll come in handy for something. I do like the fact that it's locking. Now all your other tools are on the inside of it. Don't have that many, but it's got like one of these uh, 2D style. But it's actually a lot better. Uh, Gerber makes like a 2D style Phillips head. And I don't like them. But uh, this one's actually... I like how it's made better than the Gerber one. And there's your flat head. And then we got a couple other tools over here. This thing is really cool. I like this. This is a package opener. You know, for those bubble packs that you get kids' toys and stuff in. Let's see here if I can get this thing to go. There we go. That's a nice little thing. I like it. It's got a real small little file on it. Which also has a real small tape measure. What is that? About two inches? Something had something out. Where is that? Oh, right here. You gotta be careful because a lot of these things are sharp. The bottle or the can opener is quite sharp there. And it's got this little uh, sharpened edge here. I don't know if that's for stripping wires. I'm not sure what that's for. It might be a wire stripper, but I think that's... I don't know. I think there's something else on here that strip wires. I forget where it is. And that supposedly could be used as a wire stripper. Uh, maybe that's what that's for, stripping wires. I'm sure it'll come in handy for something. Anyway, yep, that's my new Maldi tool. Like I said, it's 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 not to the standard of the higher end Leatherman, but it's not a bad little cheap thirty dollar Maldi tool. Now, like I said, there's some fit and finish issues with it, but uh, we'll see how it works out. Do some testing on it. But yep. Anyway, that's what I'm up to. Hope you guys are all doing well. And uh, check back with you later. Y'all have a great one. This is Iron Monkey Z signing out. Peace.